Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today I figured we'd do a cab over from John Ruta. This is his 362 Peterbilt cab over. Uh, beautiful truck. Really great model. Uh, he is updating. He's going to be updating this more and more with customizations and everything. And it does come with quite a bit of customization to it as of right now. But we are also using the rework SCS livestock trailer uh, this is in the steam workshop it's basically the rework of the trailer which makes it more not so tall but like rounder of a real actual livestock trailer at least that's what it says as a steerable axle in the back and it's actually a really nice piece not a whole lot of customization to it it's mainly just for the look um, you add uh, whatever wheels to it and everything like that but also we have Jasper's Farm from a Frankenstyles Customs picking up a load of cattle from here to take to Houston, Texas we're in Jasper right now these uh, yards that you can get from there's also some from Matt BT you can get there's a uh, Frankenstyles yards that I have found and the only thing I have issue with this yard is it's kind of like every so often and just like uh like that's supposed to be a person riding that horse but he disappears for some reason like some of the stuff in here kind of disappears and it comes back up but other than that I mean it's a really good yard and he's also put you can also use uh pingas livestock trailer on here to pick up loads or the uh, Bart's livestock trailer so he's added all that to this yard so that way you can uh, experience it all but we're using the rework SCS one today and using preach bombs engine sounds on this run right here See if we get get rolling here. this game and then I uh, put it on my new hard drive hoping that it'll kind of clear up some of the stutter because it did with the uh, Euro truck um, game whenever I did it for that that some of these yards though they kind of when they go to load up and everything they kind of get kind of laggy but once you get away from them it doesn't do that once they load up and everything it kind of kind of settles down a little bit
But it's neat to have. They got so many yards you can choose from. Unsolved Mysteries uh, host voice. Somebody post uh, put it on Steam Workshop, and it actually yeah, it works pretty good for my GPS sounds. So. Pretty good one for a freebie mod, uh, but I don't know. John Rudis is my favorite at this point. I know that uh, KSW Mods has one. He's got a 352 version, and then it seems like I've seen another modder has one. There's not too many cab overs you can choose from. Also, in other news, STS has announced their other project now for the DOC states. It is Nebraska. So basically, I'm thinking they're just going to go straight up. If you look at the map, well, I'll show you here in a minute on the, what I'm talking about. But I think they're just going to go like start from the south and work their way north with it and then over. Seems like the way they're going with it. JPX Graphics 2 with Project Next Gen's uh, textures as well. Uh, yes, you can put those two together along with uh, Grimes Mods. Seasonal, if you want to do seasonal like a summertime, springtime and all that, they can actually be put together and cap compatible. You just got to follow the uh, load order whenever you do it. Really good mod, uh, well worth it. If anything you save yourself a hassle, just go ahead and get all of his trucks. Because all his John Ruder's trucks are really good. And he keeps them up to date and he keeps adding more to them. Because before we just had a 389 and now he uh, updated it to a 379. So, and it's not just a 379, 389 look. It's actually not just accessories. It's also a... Uh, actual 379 he actually got the short wheelbase front nose on it 
like a real 379 has and it's just it looks amazing it looks great I did a video on that a long while back so it's worth it and also he's bringing out the look like the uh, it's a new uh, Freightliner Cascadia uh, not the new new like the older version like the, I think it's like almost like a first gen Cascadia and it's coming along very well so I mean yeah another truck to add to the to the list of John Ritter trucks that I have and I can't wait wait for that to come out and it looks like he's pretty well along with it I mean I'm thinking he's gonna be pulling out a version here soon but he's gonna keep updating it over time that's what he's gonna be doing so which would be good you know that's one thing I like about some modders they'll keep it up to date and everything and keep going with it some just quit doing it after they create something that's good and people like it Guess they just fall out of love with it. Superbird. Ferrari. Yes, these uh, traffic packs are from Janty Cats. You can get sports cars, classic cars, just regular cars, and trucks, pan trucks.
you they are. This concludes your journey. This concludes your journey. You can either park it in there. Park it next to it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. back at it again I still want to apologize for not getting out content like I used to it's just work has increased and until the summertime's over with it's I'm gonna settle down anytime soon but the moment I can get off earlier and uh, get back onto here and get some more content for you I will I'll keep up with the updates for the Jazzy Cat traffic packs and any other modders I find will be provided in the link description below as always and also this is a beautiful truck I just gotta say it's a beautiful truck it's a great cab over you can also get a shorter version uh, quite a bit of customization to it I mean he's gonna keep adding to it and keep adding to his updates and everything so other than that, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe. The more subscribers I have, the more I meet my goal that I want to. Uh, and people can have the links to these modders and everything. So that way, uh, you're not missing out on anything. So if you can't find a good mod you want, uh, I have the link for what you're looking for. It'll be right in the description as always. And I shall see you all in the next video. Oh, it's supposed to fit.